Hey, what's going on, guys? RS Games here, back with another episode of Into the Flames. Today, we're checking out the Retro Truck DLC. Now, these trucks are really cool. They are old school trucks. We got an engine and a tower ladder. Got the mid mount. Now, I just got the basic Canton County skins. We are back in the Heights map, I do believe. Um, and right now, we're just waiting for a call to drop on us so we can hopefully check out both our engine and our tower ladder today. Yeah. So, I really starting to enjoy this game more and more. The more I record it, the more I play it off camera. It's becoming my favorite game. I don't know why this truck's a lot dirtier. I think. Let's see. Broom. Can I, can I broom my truck off? I don't know. There's got to be a way for it, right? Alright. Remove tools. Oh, and we got a car accident. Uh, where is the car accident at? Way over there. But I think we can we can roll our truck for this. Right? So we're going to go ahead and put where we're responding. Hit the siren. And we're going to take off in this old retro fire truck here. Okay. It's a little tough to drive. Especially when the traffic's not working. I do appreciate all the support you guys have given me on the last episodes of Into the Flames. Uh, we kind of crossed over this bridge. But yeah, I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me on this game. And so we're going to continue playing it because I'm actually, this is an enjoyable game. And it's probably the most realistic firefighting simulator out there next to Emerge NYC. Which, that game will eventually come out. I'm just waiting on my new SSD to arrive so I can start recording that game. Because I don't have enough room on my computer to install it right now. Yeah. So it looks like we can turn over here. If we do need any backup, we got Squad 3 right around the corner. Oh, okay. It, I was turning, but it was not turning the truck. Go ahead and kill the siren. It looks like we maybe just have a one vehicle 1050 here. We're gonna roll up. We're gonna we're gonna park on the back side, do a little fend off. It is occupied times four. Interact with the vehicle. Can I cut the cables? Let's see. Interact with the car. Remove the door to free the pacer. Alright, so I've never actually done an extrication on this. We'll see if we can just use the spreaders here. Interact with door. It's doing something. Extrication in progress. Okay. Alright, we have that. Alright, we're just going to cut all these doors off here. I don't... Maybe we need the cutters too. Not fully sure. It'd probably help if I completed the entire academy on this game. But where's the fun in that? Let's just jump right into the gameplay and see if we can figure it out, right? I don't know if there's any way to call an ambulance. Instant negative entrapment. Alright, we're just going to instant extricate. Let's see. So I gotta remove that door. So we're just gonna remove all. See if we can use the cutters. Hopefully. Uh, okay. Well, we're cutting something. I don't know what we're cutting. Looks like a door just flew off back there. There's another door. Alright, yeah. Okay, so we getting all them all right uh, what's the key I'm gonna go ahead and drop the so instant extricate are my patients anywhere else around here okay well that must be all we have to do um, negative entrapment. 
So I'm assuming we already cut the battery. Well, we should have at least. Um, I think we can go ahead and 10 8 this call. So we'll go over here. Well, we were on scene, we're in route actually. Um, we can end that call. Maybe. Maybe. being kind of buggy again. Let's see. It's not letting me end that call, but we're just gonna roll with it. We did cut them all out. I don't see in the patients anywhere, so I'm assuming EMS has already taken care of it. We were just there for extrication. We are gonna go ahead and return to quarters. Whoa, this thing is not very easy to turn. We'll go ahead and shut our lights off and we'll head back to station two and wait for the next one. Alrighty guys, we just got an automated fire alarm here. So we're going to go ahead and roll to that. Uh, where is it at? Back in the city. <laughs> I should have chose a station in the city today. So we're going to go ahead and roll with the engine to that one just in case we do have a working structure fire. Oh. <laughs> that was completely my error there. Check out some first person driving. And it looks like we're going to roll right through the city and then we got to take a right. And get these cars out of our way. We're just going to pretend like I did not hit that one. I think my department would be very upset with me with all the accidents that I have. I, I think I'd be without a job. Okay. Bouncing back and forth here. These cars are not playing nice. Although I think 75 for responding here is a little bit much. But we want to get there and make sure that the area is clear and that we don't have an actual working fire. Let's see. Alright, so we're going to be taking a turn up there. We can get rid of that a little bit of annoying siren. I think we got to turn right here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and kill our siren here. We're going to come over here. Don't exactly know which building we got the fire alarm in. I can hear it. Let's see. Is it up there? Oh, okay, watch where I'm going. I don't know if these buildings I can get in and out of. Alright, I'm starting to think that it's maybe in the train station here. Oh, and I forgot to mark, we are on scene. We're going to get out here. We're going to be out investigating. I don't know whether it's up or down. Maybe down? I don't see any potential for fire up there. But I did hear... Let's see. Alright, the, the alarm is back. We do have some FDCs here. If we need them. I'm starting to think that maybe it is up top. We'll go check up there. Actually, it might be in here. Yeah, yeah, no, it's locked. And I don't really want to force a door that does not need to be forced. Is it? I don't see why they'd have a fire alarm upstairs here. But it's possible. Oh, yeah, there is. Look at that. Alright, well, we can go ahead and mark ourselves 10 8 on that one. Alright, I think it automatically did that one. We can go ahead and end that call. Hopefully, that's gonna do that. <laughs> and it did. So, we will go ahead and put ourselves back in available here. It's another successful call done today in this retro engine, too. We can go ahead and kill our lights once we get over here kind of a little bit of a perk all right and now we'll wait for the next one to go. buddy you gotta accelerate there and we'll wait for the next one to come through all right well we just got toned to another automated fire alarm let's see where's this one at back in town all right we're gonna go ahead and flip the lights on okay 
I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. All right, man, you're right in our way. Can you move? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna whip around here. We're gonna roll back over there in engine two, just in case. Sometimes the fire, most of the time, fire alarms are nothing but. <laughs> this truck does not turn very well. I'm sorry, guys. All right, we're gonna roll back over there, and hopefully, it's nothing major. But if it is, we'll be ready to go in Retro Engine 2. The calls are a little bit not as exciting today as they have been. Oh my goodness, they pull off out of the way, but not enough. And it's like they come back in front of you. So I do believe we can stay right on this road. And we are kind of a busy station today. That's three runs so far. Well, we're on our third one. Alright. So somewhere around in here. Which store is it? It's going to be... A gas station maybe? Hopefully not. I don't see any smoke showing or anything. We're gonna go ahead and mark ourselves on scene again here. Kinda forget to do that. Is it the gas station or? It's gotta be the gas station, okay. So we'll be out investigating this one. It's definitely in here and it's locked. I really don't wanna force this door if I don't have to. Can we make contact? Well, we shut the pumps off just in case. <laughs> is this door open? That door is not. I can't see any. See any active fire in there. We're going to have to force this door. Because I don't think there's a way to get a key holder here. And uh, hopefully we don't break it. Alright, we have made access here. Here's the alarm panel. The bathroom's locked too? No, we're gonna just go like this just to see. I don't see any active fire anywhere. Sounds kind of cheating. You kind of look through the door. Oh, wait. Oh, looks like we're good there too. So we're gonna go ahead and clear this alarm and we'll be on to the next one. Can I shut that door? I should be able to. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's not my fault this time. Alright, well, you can show engine 2 clear and available. We'll be back. It says in quarters, but we're clear. Alrighty, I will see you guys in the next call. Alright, guys, well, we just got paged to a car fire. So, well, we didn't, still didn't get a call that we can use our ladder on, but we did get something in our first due area, so that's kind of exciting. Alright, we're going to go ahead and roll out here. Hopefully no one's entrapped. Oh, I kind of picked the worst way. Oh, wait, I need to get up on the freeway, I think. Maybe? Yeah, we need to get up on the freeway. <laughs> Bad engineer doesn't even know his first due area. Actually, I think we can just cut over here. We'll save a little bit of time. Alright, we're going to go ahead and roll. Hopefully it's nothing super serious, but we did have smoke showing. As we were leaving the hall. Alright, we got a car that's fully involved here. Go ahead and mark on scene. Hopefully we can get it, get it extinguished without any issues. There is no close hydrant, so hopefully we have enough water on board. I don't see any souls. Alright, we're just going to pull a quick attack. Connections. We're going to go ahead and discharge two combination. And uh, we want to do tank to pump open. Max throttle that. Tank to pump 
open. And we want discharge to open. While we're at it, we're going to grab our air pack and pack up here. Alright, just to be safe, I definitely parked the truck way too close to this one, but go ahead and get in here. Aggressive attack this one. This is my first car fire in this game. Okay. It's not going out, so am I doing something wrong? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Just gotta hit it in the right spot to cool it down enough. I'm out of water already? No. Can't be. There's no way. Make the pump open. What? This thing does not hold any water, does it? Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and stretch for a hydrant. Yes. And we'll do the supply line, and we're going to have to run it all the way down here. This is kind of a far away hydrant. I should have done a lay as I pulled up. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the mask while we're running. Alright. Connect holes. Now I need a hydrant wrench. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very well prepared on this one today. But we'll fill our truck up so if we get anything else, well, we're ready to go. Tools, hydrant wrench. Alright. Get down here and charge this up. Alright, now we can get back to our barbecue here. Boy, I love the look of that truck from a distance. get a screenshot of that action well we need to open up our intake I suppose that would help uh, tank fill open alright we're gonna be intaking water empty pump open do I have to hit the primer like I don't, I don't really know okay now we got water we got our water supply secured Go ahead and put out the rest of our barbecue here. Oh, we didn't have any magnesium popping, so that was pretty good. Looks like we got one more tire here and the engine compartment. We can get that out. I wonder, I wonder if it'll let me pop the hood. Can I just spray through the? Oh, let me pop the hood. Oh, it does. Nice. Yeah, I didn't really see the interactive menu here. Alright, I would say that this car fire is complete. We can mark ourselves 10-8. Um, I wish there was a way to see how much water I have in the truck. Tank fill. Well, that's open all the way. So we're just gonna go ahead and idle our truck. Okay, well, I think these three little markers here, yep, that's our water. Alright, so now we're full. I'm guessing earlier we were not full. Alright, we're going to go ahead to discharge two and close that up. Then we can return our hose and as well as our supply line. Right. I wonder if we can back up and like kind of do like a reverse lay. That's probably just going to string it out even more it is. <laughs> oh, wait. It's definitely just stringing out more more LDH. And we're going to drive over it. You know, that's not recommended, but we want to get closer so we can pack up. We're going to go ahead and do that and 
Well, we're going to remove all tools. So we are done. And it's not giving me the option. There we go. So now I should be able to return this flight line. Alrighty. I'm getting better with this game as we go. But anyways, guys, that's probably going to be the end of today's episode. We had a few calls today. Nothing major, but the next time I record this out, this game, I will try to get us some calls with the tower ladder so we can check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, hit that like button as well as that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys next time.